Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your one and only Lady Jackson bringing you this particular update on the Big Brother Niger Season 8 All Stars 2023 edition as a day hot. Now, of course, I'm going to give you a full lowdown. Now, in this particular video, I reveal to you what Ilibai actually did with her clothes that were thrown in the toilet by Ike. I would reveal to you the um fact that Doyin and Cece are going on an intervention on that issue and I'm going to tell you according to my own opinion the worst housemates who literally need to go home the um middle acting housemates who are averagely given content and the best housemates top two guys and top two girls so of course if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe click on the bell button myself for notification on every post i make share comments down below and give this video a thumbs up it helps my video it might be a little thing to you but it means a lot to me and i, I appreciate also watch this video till the end to get a full lowdown on everything that i said in this video now let's get right into it so obviously it's no more news to you guys that um ek allegedly not allegedly he packed all ilibai's clothes and dumped them in the toilet and sadly this morning we're finding out that after messy ek and fraud went to go and pack it up for her she had to throw her underwears away and i understand that because there could be germs in those things and no matter how you wash it you could easily get an infection and you know i just hope that big brother has a punishment for this level of injustice and evil and literally this housemates don't understand that with all this evil they are propagating they're pushing ilibai to the point of winning this competition and for me who don't easily pick a favorite this is crow and whatever reward she gets in the end of the show she deserves it a hundred percent now, before I get into the best and worst and everything that I want to say, um, Cece and Doing were having a conversation in the room this morning. They didn't even go out for the exercise. The exercise was only, there was just Adikile Shea, uh, one girl, that was Cece. No, not Cece. There was one girl. I cannot remember. There was uh, Fraud and Cross. Those are the only person who came for the exercise this morning. But then, um, Cece and Doing were with uh, Ilibai talking to her and like um, trying to ask her if she wanted a meeting because they need to find out and fix who did this evil to her now that she has lost her underwear that she cannot wear any and some of her clothes she has thrown them away because they might be infected with infection and stuff they went to ask cross cross said it can never be him that is terrible he only saw Samadina and Perry in the dressing room we saw where they asked um Kid Wai and Kid Wai said that was too petty that he was even picking offense. They asked um, Shay. Shay said he doesn't want to talk about it, but it's not him. He didn't do anything. He doesn't know. They were going to ask other people. Maybe it was how we did it herself. After that, um, we saw that Cross and Shay and Adikili were having a conversation. And I must say this. Um, as as much as this seems to me, I listened to every word and descriptions they gave. She and Adikuli are obviously very dumb, stupid people. Um, they tried to come off as morally good and understanding of situation and being empathetic and everything but they have two bunch of fools Adikili was saying that you know everything that happened to him in his reunion and uh, why didn't he take it offensive i'm like you were the one who put yourself in that position you trolled people with with your newsletter you did i too sabi they now came back at you which was deserving nobody punched you nobody tore your clothes or carry your things and destroyed Adik, um she who is feeling like a, a family man and everything you keep insulting people's generations and families this was something that doing had to even counter you about yet you're claiming to be what saying that a uh, a uh, why don't people go and commit suicide when they are being trolled like literally if haven't you seen where celebrities were trolled and they go all out arrest the people and deal with them so what what are you saying exactly Ile Baye didn't do anything to warrant what Ike did to her on no ground. So what are you defending? Anyways, I'm done with that. Let me get into my full details on everything I want to discuss. So I said I was going to say the worst housemates. Now for the first, for me, the first girl who is the worst to me is Venita. Venita likes coming off as a victim. She cries over having a bad relationship with her cousin. Yet she is so bitter enough that she can, you know, 
talk about people's private life that were not told to other people on national TV and then seeing what she did yesterday, I was disgusted. You sat down and saw Ike throw all of um, Ilibai's things in the bathroom. You said nothing. Second person, because I don't want to talk too much, is Mercy Eke. Mercy Eke, what did Ilibai actually do to you? Is it because she's vocal and doesn't want anybody to trample on her? I thought you're that kind of person. So what exactly are you saying? Why would you utter this kind of statement that uh, she cannot be redeemable? You and fraud. Why do you make such things? What exactly is your problem? You just don't want her to win. You've said it countless times that this little rat wants to come and snatch the 120 million from us. And surprisingly, with every action and things you're doing, you're pushing her to that, even though you're not supposed to be at fault. I obviously am not going to bore anybody with too much talk. Next person is Kidwa. You claim to, of course, your, your father is a billionaire. You have all life can offer. You can get anything you want. You come to a show here and you're claiming that you want to be the villain, yet you're being very, very nasty and stupid and all the evil and snaggy things. You can literally cheat people of the little they can get when you have so much, yet you now rob the fact that you have the money, you can spend it in their face. I'm really disgusted by you you call people b-i-t-c-h and more moving on to the most disgusting man in the house she the worst man in big brother's house at the moment he and somebody else actually you know dragging for that title you claim to be the most moral the most understanding the most respectful the most cultural yet you insult people's family generation experience siblings and everything and oh you're, you're, you're such a terrible person i cannot even begin to say the least and i cannot wait for you to leave the show because at this moment you are worthless to most of us who actually watch people are disgusted to be your tribe and to be married men in your line Next first thing is Pere. Pere, you told us a story about your family, how your mom was a single mother. We now see where your insecurities come. We now see where you, your insecurities of trying to lord over people come from. You didn't have a father, so it's eating deep into you. But why would you get to the point and calling people B-I-T-C-H when they didn't do any serious thing to you? They didn't insult your family. They didn't insult your parents. They didn't call you terrible names. The one that even did, Venita, you didn't insult her like that. But another girl that did you nothing you come and pretend that you're a friend but yet go behind her back and call her very snaggy names the worst person in the house you know dragging the title with Shei is um Ike Ike literally is the most dirtiest disgusting person of a man that I would ever see on live tv after all your love interest Messi can say you don't clean your butt when you poop you don't flush toilet you're very dirty you care about food so much that you can actually literally murder people because of food you talk about private businesses like you know pimping girls to big boys even down to national tv what are you thinking or planning to achieve with all this i just hope you get punished for you know destroying ilibai's clothes moving on from that relationships that we hope will sail but might not end up sailing number one is Samadina and angel now i don't know if it, it's going to work right but i feel it's not going to work they have similar energy like the both of them are very emotional people the both of them need attention from their love interest and yes they seem to understand each other to an extent and they can blend but i don't think Samadina is kind of guy uh angel would really want in like in the end right but i wish them luck it seems like they might work but i don't know the next one is venita and adikili and i must just say this from the onset i don't think they're going to work in any way now this is not me hating on each of any of them first off venita wants a man that will be a husband and father to her kids which is beautiful so much you can depend on which is beautiful adikili has that vibe but adikili has said it countless time that he's not shipping anything and although he has claimed that he can and, uh, handle her and her tickets i feel this man wants somebody you know older than him just like her but in a different packaging uh, without kids and all that but let's see how it goes now for the housemates who are playing an average and good game that could get them to the finals number one is cc cc have moved from you know constantly fighting with alex constantly fighting with one or two other girls in the house and maybe one or two other guys to you know deeming down to 
putting out the best of her personalities, you know, balancing it with her, you know, strong energy and, um, her other light energy and i think this will get her to the end next is alex alex is avoiding any trouble as much as possible trying to grow good bonds aside doing who will be number one for elibai's friendship alex will be the next best thing that has happened to elibai and i like that alex has not had so much issues with many of the housemates and she avoids it as much as possible and tries to explain herself when there is trouble which is something good for someone who is you know understanding of each other of other people's emotions and a lot of things the next is white money white money is so comedic <laughs> or comic or whatever the word is he's good in the kitchen he's been doing all the food work mostly since you all left all the other housemates have been doing a little bit of it and you know when i watch him do his, his um morning exercise moments i laugh during a uh, coupling moments i laugh about it i just really hope he wouldn't get into any bitterness and he would reduce the strain off of his Igbo titles it's not that it's bad but it's giving off something right the next person who is trying and might get to the finals although i hope he gets is somadina somadina is building a ship that might actually say with angel angel is a strong contender and we can and probably get to see this move for those who really want a ship uh, he needs to reduce his crying that's that's one thing his energy is amazing he's like another energy like you real and it's something we really crave to have now for the strong housemates in the show um i would say number one is um fraud right for male like fraud is giving family vibes good friendship now family vibes is someone who has tried his best to respect any other person even though they've been chaotic when people go all berserk the only time we've seen cross um fraud outrightly angry was when his meat was stolen after they kept their food aside that he's been trying the next housemate of a guy who would get to the finals who might get to the finals is adikili adikili is giving us a mixed vibe although a lot of people are getting um disappointed recently with his you know getting back into the before into him of before of his own season and i really hope he reduces that because that could cause him a lot of problem but so far so good he's giving us content you know coupling up with venita giving us his bad boy dex vibes and it's beautiful for the girls the first person who would was sure would get to the final right it's, there's a strong vibe towards it is doing doing has showed us that although um her energy doesn't blend with a lot of people she's actually a thoughtful person a beautiful hearted person someone who uh, prefers people to selfishness she puts people first to selfish needs and it's good to see because no matter how uh, doing cannot be my bad book anymore like i just don't know how to put it uh last person who we actually know is going to get to the finals and probably win this competition is ilibai ilibai has suffered the most in this competition and as much um, as much as people want to pay to her bad she's being herself it's not a strategy this girl's just being herself she's trying to be vocal as much as possible for someone who is young and other people try to trample on you she is building good friendships with some guys and some girls and i think with this and all the bullying she's getting she'll get to the finals now that's all i have for you in this particular video so of course y'all need to stick around for more details and everything that will go on in this day so i'll see you on the next one okay